Welcome back to another basement fix up vlog. As you can see, the workout room and the closet is ready to be painted. Um, I took up the floors over the weekend. Greg helped me move them from in here to the garage. Somebody came and got everything yesterday. Very expensive, but it's gone now anyway. So yeah, as you can see, I painted everything. Did I say as you can see twice? I didn't mean to do that, but as you see here, um, <laughs> I have everything taped up. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't miss any spots because I actually had to go back to Lowe's because I didn't have enough. Like one roll was not enough. So now I have an extra roll probably for something else, but don't have to worry about the ground since, you know, we're going to be putting floor down. So yeah, this is all ready to go too. I'm just going to do primer today. So I'm not too concerned about anything. I did get yellow paint. That's what we decided on. I kind of wanted yellow for like a workout room. I thought yellow or green, something bright. Greg didn't really care. So I just went with yellow and we do have that. But yeah, I'm going to get to painting. I don't know how I'm going to vlog this because I don't really want to waste time. This battery is already like on the way out. So if I can set it somewhere, I'll set it somewhere. If not, I'm not gonna fiddle around with it too much. I'll just come back for little updates. So, yeah, here we go. So guess who forgot painting trays? Me. So guess who has to go to Lowe's? Me. Okay, so I'm back. I think I have everything I need to begin. Got the trays. Send trays. Um, on the way back, my mom was like, do you have a, like a brush for sure? Or a roller? And I just had a moment of like, do I? I remember what I do. And I actually have two of these so I could do this for primer and then paint on Friday. But while we were at Lowe's, there was some lady and I don't know what her deal was. She was looking for something in the aisle. She had a little boy with her. And I just heard the guy that works at like the paint area. He was like, ma'am, what's wrong? In a very understanding voice. And she just kind of like stormed off and was like, this is why I go to Home Depot. And the boy, who was probably like 12, if that, he was like, you know, we went, well, he said what they were looking for, and the guy's like, oh, that's aisle 10. And she's like, I was in aisle 10. Or he said, that's aisle 10 or something like that. She's like, I know, this is aisle 10. And then the boy was like calmly explaining everything to the guy, like, you know, well, we went in that aisle, but they don't have what we're looking for. And she was just like storming off. She said something about Home Depot again. And the guy that worked there kind of followed her for a bit, but then she just turned the corner and he just let her go. But then I saw her walking around like on the way out, so she didn't go to Home Depot yet as, <laughs> as of that point, but how rude. And how nice that the boy was like calmer and just more like rational than this woman was. I think it might have been his grandmother or something like that, but how, why are people like that to people? I don't get it, but that was a little weird. But enough yapping. I'm gonna paint. I think I'm gonna do this area first actually because it's probably the most tedious of the walls because there's like the window and whatever that's called over there. So I'm not actually gonna use this right away. I'm gonna use this right away. I just found this in the cabinet. I think it's from like a concert or something. Lemonade, so I'm just gonna like, ooh, it's a little too big. Well, I'll make it work. Also, one more thing, I do have shorts on. If this goes down past my shorts, just know that I have pants on. This is just an old painting shirt, so. Okay, officially, we're starting. Waited on my birthday, but you never called me. Guess I just let myself down Deleted every photo But when I'm feeling lonely Honestly, I still think about
next day, let me turn this fan off. It's literally driving me nuts. I hate ceiling fans. I just hate the movement. Ceiling fans and chandeliers and wind turbines. They really drive me nuts. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till that stops because that is already annoying me. Much better. Even those little chains there though, like right there, I hate when they move. I wish I could take them off. I think they were longer and I disconnected it. I don't think I can do anything else with them. Anyway, that's that's the weird Nikki fact there. But yeah, so got the primer on. There's still a bit of green like peeking through. You can see a difference, but it's gonna be fine because I'm putting yellow over it, like I said. If it was just gonna be white, I'd have to go over it again, but that's good enough. And then I'm not very happy with the closet because that was like a lot of purple and I kind of want to buy some white paint just to put another coat on because that's another thing too. Hold on, I'll turn the camera around. Okay, so you're on a tripod right now. I actually forgot I had this tripod, but it was good to record yesterday. But yeah, so that closet, it's a closet. It doesn't really matter that much. And I'm gonna do this room first, but I feel like it's gonna bother me if I don't get just white paint and make it more even instead of how blotchy it looks. It's just that purple. It was so hard to cover, especially running low because that's another thing yesterday. I ran out, literally I got halfway down the closet and ran out of primer. I only had a tiny bit left and had to go to Lowe's. Greg actually took me because I didn't eat yet and I was hungry, it was probably 7.30 and so I ate on the way and he drove. Got a little can of primer and it did the rest of it but I still think it needs another coat so probably gonna do that, which I wasn't planning on. But I might as well do it while everything's taped up. So that's my mom, she's gonna me up in a little bit but yeah it's getting there so today is just a break day today's thursday and it's actually my birthday and i'm not the type of person that's like it's my birthday but i just i want to take a break because it is my birthday i'm using that as an excuse i'm 35 today yikes and i know people say you know growing up and getting older is a privilege that's denied to many i think that's the quote and I, you know, I feel thankful in that way, but also yikes. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm also one of those people that think you get a day, you get a birthday, you don't get a birth week, you don't get a birth month, you get a birthday, that's it. So today's just gonna be a chill day. I'm gonna go to my mom's for a little bit and I think her and my grandmother are gonna come over here. We're gonna try to make mug cakes. That's what <laughs> my mom and I talked about because She's trying to be healthy, I'm trying to be a bit healthier, but I'm also thinking of the slush today, because it is my birthday. Not one to say it's my birthday, but it's my birthday. I'm gonna get a slush, I think, at some point. But we're gonna try mug cakes, because then it's just one thing and you're done. It's not, you don't have a ton of cake or cupcake sitting around afterwards. So that seemed like the better thing. And then tonight, Greg got me some kind of taco kit in the mail, so I'm gonna make that for dinner. I don't know how much he's gonna eat because it's vegan, but he said he would try a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's basically the basement update until tomorrow. It'll be continued tomorrow, and I will vlog it. I really enjoy vlogging this kind of stuff. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, one more thing really quick, so my mom's probably gonna be here, but I can't believe I didn't talk about this yet. I think I electrocuted myself a little bit yesterday. <laughs> or at least zap myself to some extent because that outlet over there, I don't know how it happened because I was so delicate and just knew to be careful going around all the other ones. And you know, I don't know if you'd see me in the video, but I would go up the side, over the top, down on the other side, along the bottom and kind of blend it all out. So I had a good rhythm and I hit a lot of outlets before getting to that one and a little bit of paint just dripped in there and for some reason I just thought I could go in and just get it with a paintbrush and I felt the zap up my arm and I dropped the paintbrush and then really freaked out, it was tingling for a little while. But yeah, I, I think I electrocuted myself a little, which is kind of funny, it's not funny, but Greg, 
he played me a song by the Pretty Reckless before called 20, it's either 25 or 25 and still alive, that's what she says. And it's been in my head the past couple days and I've jokingly been singing 35 and still alive. But I texted my friend yesterday and I was like, I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I'm singing this 35 and still alive. So I was pushing my luck, but here I am. Uh, okay, mom's on her way now, so I'm gonna end this and maybe I'll be back when we try the mug cakes. I'll try to remember to record that. Man, I should just take a tripod like this everywhere I go. It's literally as tall as me. You could just stand here. I feel like I have so many things to say. <laughs> okay, I'm done being a dork. Together, the cake mix and the water. I'm saying I don't like my guys. What do we need? Six. Six? Is this, is this for a cup or should I put it in a bowl? How can you do cup? that? Says a lot. I'm not supposed to turn into a cake. Oh, jeez. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. Nanny, you gonna count two? Mm-hmm. Four. Four. Five. Five. She's swallowing people at home. <laughs> Six. <laughs> There you go, we got Four around. tablespoons of water. Whisk it together. Whisk it up. This you can do another one in there if you want. Yeah. And that's supposed to be a cake? Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk it. All we're doing is mixing flour and Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, Cake batter and water. Do you want to show the cake batter, Mom? Hmm? Do you want to show the cake <laughs> And, and what, what do you do that? Do you well, do you no. Do you I mean, this. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin <laughs> pie is mostly accidentally vegan. But yes. check the ingredients. Yes. But oh. usually it's vegan. They're so darn and they're cute. Icing. Yeah. One and a half minutes. You don't yeah. want to see what happens behind the scenes? Let's see. Two. Let's see what happens behind the scenes. We'll make sure you get it all in there. You uh. can see. It's a bit, it's a bit jiggly. <laughs> Do you want some diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're going to get, diabetes. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Tastes <delicious. laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> You're trying to kill me with That's sweetness, with kindness. I know, kill you with kindness. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you That's just want sweet. a taste of it. It looks like... Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> you can mm, see. That's good. It is. It's a cake. It's very spongy. 16 corn tortillas. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, it's Friday night. We're doing the tacos. Greg's gonna say what all is here. So we have 16 corn tortillas, they're 4 inches each, mm -hmm. 16 ounces of fajitas, mm -hmm. 16 ounces of barbacoa. I don't even know if I've ever had barbacoa. I think that's what this is. Like, well yeah, that's, that's what it's gotta be. I don't know if I've fajitas. ever had regular barbacoa. 12 ounces of rice. That looks good. 6 ounces of red salsa, 6 ounces of green salsa. Or Christmas oh. if you want both. It's a little yellow, I don't think that's how that works. 32 Christmas. ounces of beans. That's a I feel lot. like I need to eat some of that, even though I don't normally eat beans. Really I feel like there's too much beans for Eight ounces of pico de gallo. Uh huh. And two limes. Isn't that cool? And it's from a company. Is what's the company? El Palote. Well, it's Gold Belly is what I ordered off of, but that's the actual restaurant. That okay, so it's Gold Belly, El Palote. I think I'm saying that right. I think so. But yeah, I don't know if that works that way, but when we were in New Mexico, the guy asked if I wanted red or green or Christmas, and it was for peppers, but I don't know if it works for sauce. But I'm excited. Some of those keep frozen, but I guess we're just thawing it anyway. Yeah, so Greg said basically what you do is you boil water and then put all, well not all the bags. Some of them. The barbacoa, the beans. Fajitas yeah, and rice, and, rice. Okay. and then other right. stuff, yeah, that makes sense. Tortillas are going to be the most complicated part. Yeah, oh, you have to fry like, them in a pan. Like fresh, too, if they should need to be, or how that works. Man, sure. it's taco night. So this is the next step. Oh, the water's going to come right at the top. Everything in a pot. They said a saucepan. Yeah, that never would not work. fit in a saucepan. The beans are, like, so large. And now you wait 25 to 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and make taco or the tortillas and then i really got you a hell of a gift <laughs> should we like scoop some water out maybe i think it's okay i think it's okay oh god that's really close i know that's like, a thing i just looking over here i just, just noticed how close <laughs> you get a ladle just don't stick around boiling water so you can get 
Yeah, yeah, holding a chore for a gift. Okay. This is an experience. Is this is what you want. I know, I like experiences. This is a perfect Dude, it's gift. Like that boiling water. Why did you say such a thing? <laughs> I don't know if you could hear him over it's the like a fan. Challenge. He dared me to drink the boiling water. Okay, so now this has been boiling for I don't know a good while. I messed up the timer. So it's a good while, and I'm gonna cook the tortillas in a pan. And Greg actually got me this pan for my birthday too, which it's very fancy. So we were talking about getting a new pan. He probably got the fanciest of all the pans because that's what he does. I did not specifically ask for this, but I will cook in it. I will cook in it, so yeah, we're gonna get that stuff ready. Got another bag of meat to dump out, so. Oh, okay. Well, this dump is in. this is fajitas, right? Mm -hmm. But look how like, oh, my thing's fogging up. It's so like. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I like it's, the spicy. Like smell the too. texture is like real meat. Pay attention to these tortillas. Definitely plenty tonight. to go around. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. That's this really good. Okay, so again, it's kind of blobby when you first get it out. Oops. Only 50 calories per serving. So, Telling you. Like so it's kind of like a blob, but watch. This was like the rewarding thing. Like it just falls apart. It's like a, it's like, yeah. Off the non bone. That's what it looks like. Mm. Maybe I should wait for this. I kind of want to try a little bit too. Mmm. Okay, that's more seasoned. Spicier? Oh, yeah. I thought barbacoa is yeah. supposed to be pretty spicy. So I'm gonna try the rice too. I'll get enough pork for everything. Should I get a bigger thing for the beans? Um, maybe. I mean, you could kind of smush the beans down, but I think these might be done. They're slightly crisp. I'm gonna try this rice. I'm trying everything. Oh my god. Not rice with them. Hot. Just drop the beans into the beans. That's a crap ton of beans. Mm -hmm. It's not this part's that exciting. I think the other things are a lot more exciting than this. I mean, I'm excited. Okay, so here's my plate. I got pretty much, mm, well, I put pretty much everything on everything, but this has the green salsa, red salsa. This one has a little lime on it, and this one has the pico de gallo on it. It's got a little bit of everything. I put the lime in the center just for picture purposes, but I'm excited to go eat this. Okay, so editing Nikki popping in here. I feel like I did this before in this shirt, too. Very weird, but, and ironic, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but I didn't do a transition to end the video, so I just wanted to say that those tacos that I left off on were delicious. Highly recommend checking them out. I will leave the name and the link to everything below. I don't know it off the top of my head right now even, but I will link the information because that was literally the best taco I probably ever had, especially at home. So yeah, definitely try that out. And I was gonna vlog the following week and talk about going to a sanctuary. We went to Lancaster Farms Sanctuary. It was part of a birthday gift from Greg and it was me and Greg and my mom. And I was gonna just do a whole vlog just on that, but I ended up not doing that because I didn't really vlog too much. I took some videos here and there, but it's interesting because the last sanctuary that we went to, it was a photo tour situation. So I think more people were encouraged to take pictures and videos and it was just based more on the animals and just kind of getting to pet them I guess and being more involved in with them where this was more from a distance and what I did like about this particular sanctuary though is that they did kind of pepper in they said just different facts about animal agriculture and the plus sides of being vegan and why people shouldn't contribute to, you know, animals dying for food, for any kind of consumption. So I liked that a lot. The other one was just more fun and more involved with the animals. So I enjoyed that more, but you know, as they always say, animals are not here for our entertainment. So if you're looking for a more educated thing and these 
people definitely put the animals first. It was a really hot day when we went and they were talking about two of the cows that they had there and they were going to tell us more information at some point but then the one was like I want to move these into the barn because it's too hot out here for them. So they really did just, you can tell that they really care about the animals. Not saying the other ones didn't, they did too, 100%, but you could really, like the animals were 100% the first priority. And they had, I think it was a lamb that was in the barn and they they didn't want us to go up there. Some people still did, which really annoyed me, especially when you're on a tour and then people just walk off on their own and just, it just seems like you're bored and you're just gonna go do your own thing, which isn't what you're here for. But there was a lamb that they said was probably gonna pass away within a few days and they didn't want anybody up there. And I could overhear one of the other tour guide people that run the place and she was talking to another one saying I didn't I didn't want people to go over there I didn't want her kids to even think that she was going to try to leave the barn so I guess it was kind of a family and they were just really trying to keep that area protected and you know like I said that part is is what I really liked about it but both sanctuaries were good. I'll leave information to those too. That one, I think I said it already, Lancaster Farm Sanctuary. So if you're ever in the Lancaster area, it's definitely worth checking out. And that's how I'll end this vlog for <laughs> this week. I will just insert the clips that I took and put some music to it so you can see. There was a huge pig. Obviously not how a pig should be. A pig should never be that big, but it was huge. It seemed happy rolling around in the mud, but it was the biggest pig I've ever seen. So you'll see that in the clips too. But I will say goodbye now and just roll those clips. Mm -hmm.